Welcome back to video number 26 and I hope you guys are following along just fine and shoot me a comment if you guys have any questions and I'll get back to you because this is kind of getting tricky and I'm trying to make this as easy as possible for you guys but this is my first time doing this so let me know if something doesn't make sense to you. Okay so in the last video we created our custom function. Let me get our folder over here and I'm going to keep our content.php page open. I'm wasting your time right now and our function.php open. Let's do this. Okay, so we got them side by side. Okay, so what do we do? do, 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 do. Okay, so let's go ahead and play off the last video. The more functions that we create, the much easier our other pages or files are gonna be to come up with because we have a few pages to include like faculty.php, index.php, logout.php, etc. So let's go ahead and create a new function that will do the that will do all these steps right here. Let's take I'm actually going to delete this comment right now. You can keep it in there if you still need it for future reference. But I'm going to go ahead and take this out and I'm going to put this all into one function. So I'm going to go ahead and copy and paste this stuff. And I'm going to head over here to our functions. And I'll go ahead and call this function I don't know. Excuse me, I'm gonna sneeze. Should I pause the video? Ugh. False alarm. Get all info. And this does not need any expressions in our conditional statement because we're just passing a value through this, which means we are gonna need a return statement. So let's go ahead and give it some braces and we'll open this up. And you can do this in all one PHP tag or two. It doesn't matter. And in white space, it doesn't matter. I'm sure you guys know that by now. So, what do we want to do here? Let's go ahead and, I am going to sneeze. I'm going to pause the video. Okay, so let's copy and paste all of our stuff in here. So let's go ahead and clean this up a little bit. And again, we're going to have to return this because we're just passing a value through. So we're going to do return. And what did we call this? Info set. Okay, info underscore set, and let's go ahead and save this, and let's go back to our page right now, and let's go ahead delete all this, and let's go ahead and call that function now. So info set. equals to our function that we created and it was called get all info. So let's see how that looks. Let's reload it. Nope. Uh oh, we're all over the map. Let me pause this video. All right guys, I went ahead and found the problem. So if you look at our browser right here, it says that we we what null given in applications and our functions.php on line 15. This is what we have to do. We actually have to take out our connection right now. Either we need to create another program or function to pass this through, or we could just take it out, and it's going to be the exact same thing. So let's go ahead, and we'll just take it out, and I'll save it like that, and I'll look at my content.php page. Where is it? Okay, so we still have all of, our, all of our information, every value set into this variable right here. Now let's go ahead and reload it. Perfect. Okay, it worked this time. Okay, so in the next video, we'll go ahead and do the exact same thing to our pages now. In this, in this video, we went ahead and did information. In the next video, we'll go ahead and do pages. So good luck, and let me know if you guys have any questions, and I'll get back to you, and uh, I'll see you guys in the next video.